We're gonna have to go back in time for this one. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Jamie and Claire moments from Outlander. I never took it off. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're going to look at the steamiest, most romantic and harrowing moments involving this timeless couple from the drama series. We'll be talking about major plot points, so this is your spoiler warning. As long as we both should be. Number 10. Jamie forces Claire to go back. Lord, you gave me a rare woman. Well, we're just gonna jump right into it by starting this list with one of the saddest moments in the entire series. The Battle of Culloden is on the horizon, and that inherently puts everyone's life at risk. I'm not ready, Jamie, I'm not ready. Claire is pregnant, and Jamie knows that the only place she can be safe is through the stones and in her own time. Blood. Of my blood. Bone of my bone. Jamie knows that his chances of survival are low, so he convinces Claire to leave. It's a moment born of pure sacrifice, and it will break your heart. But it's also a reminder that sometimes, that's what true love involves. I love you. And I... you. Number 9. Claire chooses Jamie. Do you really believe me? If you love something, set it free. After Claire finally tells Jamie the truth about where she comes from, Jamie takes her back to the stone so that she can go home. Jamie leaves her alone to make her very hard decision, stay in the 18th century or go back to her husband in the 20th. After some serious soul searching, she follows her heart and chooses Jamie. On your feet, soldier. She goes to find Jamie to tell him the good news and finds him crying. Take me home to Lallebrog. They share a kiss of pure joy that just melts your heart. Wise choice, Claire. Wise choice. Number 8. Jamie saves Claire from Randall. I don't suppose you'd... you'd show me. Be the last thing you ever saw. When Jamie and Claire got married, he vowed to protect her at all costs. And he's a man of his word, as shown by him continuing to look out for her even when she was trying to leave him to get back to the stones. I fully intend, by any means necessary, to discover both your true nature and the secrets that you hold." When she's captured by his nemesis Blackjack Randall, Jamie climbs Fort William with an empty pistol to get her back. You are going to regret this. It's a dangerous plan, with low chances of success, but that just makes it all the more heroic. Randall was trying to rape Claire when Jamie comes in and delivers this great line. I'll thank you to take your hands off my wife. You tell him, Jamie. Number 7. Claire's New Ring Claire's first wedding ring was simple but personal. I don't need a ring to know how much you love me. No. But it helps. It saw her through 20 years of separation from Jamie, and it had been made from the key to Jamie's childhood home, Lallybrach. After the ring was stolen, Curse you, Stephen Bonnet. Jamie wanted to make something just as special. He had his mother's silver candlestick melted to make this delicate and detailed ring with interlace and blooming thistles. It's so beautiful. Where is it from? Let Martin make it. One of the silver candlesticks. He picked a perfect time to give it to her, too, while she's unwinding in a bath after a long day of treating the measles. It's a tender moment, and fans of the books had been waiting for this ring for a while. Dami Basia Mine. Give me a thousand kisses. Number 6. Jamie saves Claire from the witch trials. Is there anyone else in here? Claire always manages to get herself in the worst situations. After Jamie is sent away, Claire soon finds herself accused of witchcraft. Burn the witch! Burn the witch! 
And you don't need to be a historian to know that things didn't end well for women accused of witchcraft in the 18th century. She's thrown into a hole, goes through a sham of a trial, and is ultimately condemned. <laughs> An angry mob surrounds Claire, her clothes are torn, and she's being whipped. But just when all hope seems lost, in comes Jamie. Help! Let him go! He fights the mob off with fists, righteous fury, and two swords to get his wife out of there. The first man forward will be the first man down. It's after this that Claire finally tells him everything. And yeah, we'd say he earned the truth. Number 5. The Wedding Now, this may have not been the perfect wedding, what with Claire being rushed into it to save herself from the redcoats and all, but it's their wedding. And it's perfect in its own special way. To death us to part. First of all, look at that dress. The shape, the color, and the metallic details are just amazing. Jamie planned the entire event to make it perfect for Claire, with a little help from his friends, including finding a last-minute wedding dress and having a ring made. He walks her through the Scottish ceremony with such tenderness that you can literally see her falling more in love with the kind-hearted Scott with each passing second. Number 4. Jamie Carries Claire Over the Threshold and Over there. We are bed, hmm. facing east, so we can watch every sunrise. Jamie and Claire are no strangers to starting over. Between running from the law and fires, they've done it before. A shipwreck takes them to the New World, where they have to build everything with their own two hands. When their cabin on Fraser's Ridge is nothing more than a frame, Jamie takes Claire on a tour and shares his vision for their new home. Uh, and over here, a wee pantry and a hearth. And I'll perform a hearth blessing. Ever the romantic? Jamie swoops her up and carries her over the threshold. This moment reminds us that so long as they have each other, they have everything they need. It's perfect. Number 3. Island Reunion While sailing the seven seas searching for Ian, Claire is taken by a British Navy ship infested with typhoid. Jamie's helpless to save her, but Claire is a resourceful badass and takes care of herself. After she treats the disease, she jumps off the boat in the middle of the ocean and washes onto a beach. Jamie! When she finally sees Jamie's ship, she uses glass to reflect the sun and get his attention. Like we said, seriously resourceful. I'm here, Spike Lux. Once he spots her, he gets to shore and they run across the beach to each other and hug. <laughs> While we love all the reunions, we'd love it if they could stop getting separated so much. Our hearts can't take it. Number 2. The Wedding Night You have my name, my clan, my family, and if necessary, the protection of my body as well. The wedding itself was pretty unforgettable, but there's something extra special about the wedding night. And we're not just talking about the sex. This is the night that Claire truly lets herself love Jamie. Take off your shirt. I want to look at you. They start off slowly, talking for hours about their family and their childhood. Tell me about your family. Claire is conflicted about her feelings for Frank, but the more they talk, the more her walls come down. As the hours passed, I began to relax. Jamie's innocence and his consideration for her feelings wins her over, and they both give in to their emotions. Eventually, their night of talking turns into something much steamier. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. He's not alive. <laughs> Are you mad, woman? You can see every inch of you, right down to your third rib. No, you can't. I'm pregnant.
but you said you were unable to. Apparently, I was wrong. Forgive me. Forgiven. Damn it, Sasa. If you die here now, I swear I'll kill you. Number one, their reunion after 20 years. Whoever you are, James Fraser. Yes. I do want you. We started this list with their separation, and we'll end it with their reunion. After returning to the 1940s, Clara raised Jamie's baby with Frank and tried to get on with her life. For 20 years, she thought Jamie was dead, but a Robert Burns poem changed everything, so she traveled back through the stones to find him. It's me. Not knowing if he still loved her, she walked into his print shop, only for Jamie to be so overwhelmed by her sudden appearance that he faints. Once he wakes, their reunion is awkward, sexy, beautiful, and everything we wanted it to be. You're real. So are you. They may have only been separated for five episodes, but it certainly felt like 20 years to viewers. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.